kids so in last video we have seen about the some basic concept about the scratch platform so everyone knows about the scratch is a free online and open source website that uses a block face programming language to learn for the beginners you can create your own interactive stories games and animation so we are going to create a predator versus spray style game using touch sensors and condition statements. So where a shark will move around the screen gobbling up a fish. Before we get into creating our games, let's take a quick look at the scratch working environment, how scratch will work and talk about what it means to code a computer game. So this is the sprite pan where you can add a sprite from the scratch libraries. A sprite is a computer picture that will follow your commands. So you can see here that our sprite is a cat right now. <clears throat> so to code our game, we need to tell the sprite exactly what to do by giving it commands that are put together in a program. So a command is an instruction to do a particular task and those are shown in the form of code blocks. So in this menu over here, you can think of this area as your toolbox. So a program is a group of command commands listed together and you can think of a program as a steps that you need to follow in a certain order so just like when you are cooking something out so we will build our program by choosing code blocks from our toolbox and joining them together in the area here in the middle called the script area so this is the scripting area you can think of this space as your sprites empty brain so you will be dragging instructions commands from the command menu into the brain so that it can run them on the stage over here. This area is where you will see the game you have coded come to life. So actually your output will be shown here. Your game will be shown here. Okay, we are ready to start designing our game. So first we need to upload our predator and prey. So let's delete the cat first sprite by clicking the garbage can in the corner. So now once you click on the sprite menu, which is here, so which is the cat head with a plus sign over here, you will have access to all the sprite in the scratch library. So you can see the lots of, scratch of pictures are there. We want to find our predator sprite and fish. So a predator is an animal that eats other animal and for this game we will use a, use a shark. <clears throat> so we can choose the shark from here. Yeah, you can also select the shark or you can find in the find box. Next we need to our prey sprite which is animal that is hunted or killed by another animal for food. So we can choose a uh, prey and just go to the search bar search box and type fish so we will take the fish this one and click on this now let's adjust the size of the fish to 50 percent so it is smaller than the shark now uh once you your sprite is here now that we have our predator and prey sprites let's add a background place them in their habitat so we can choose a backdrop from here and the corner right corner a habitat is a natural home or environment of an animal where the animals live uh, live so we can choose backgrounds by clicking on this corner so once you choose the good background a best, best background so we can see uh, we, you can uh, we can choose the underwater background so here is the nice uh, background here for shark and fish so now that i have my shark and my fish sprite in their area in their background 
let's add code to the shark sprite first so first we will click the sprite shark and then make the codes here so it will highlight at the top right corner you can see the shark picture so be, uh, <coughs> when you click any picture it will show on the right corner at the top to start our program we need a yellow event block so we can click these blocks so these blocks will decide when your program will run so first we will choose we are going to choose the uh, when green flag is there so this means that when we click the green flag over here so your program will execute your program will begin now we are going to code our shark to point in the direction of the mouse pointer and to move it the way so we are going to choose blocks from the motion command group which is in the blue menu up here you can see in this picture so blue choose the point towards block so here is the point towards block which is the ninth one down and drag it underneath the underneath when green flag is there so down the green flag we can put it over here now our drop down menu already says the mouse pointer so we don't need to change anything there because it is already selected next click the move 10 step blocks and put it underneath the point towards block it will automatically when you drag it and we want to change this number 10 to 4 so we will change it which means every time we press the flag our shark is going to point towards our mouse and move four steps so let's see what the looks like so when we will click the run run command it will move okay it will move four steps so shark will move the four steps you can see the shark points toward the mouse and then mouse a little bit movement we have to keep clicking on the flag to move the shark so if you will click again and again it will move so we don't want to have to keep clicking we want to be able to have the shark for follow our mouse around the screen as well as we eat all the fish so we are going to add what's called a forever loop so we will just uh, go to the coding part and then go to the light orange control group in the middle of the menu and then select the forever loop now we are going to take the forever loop and put it right underneath the when green flag is clicked so we can press uh, we can put it here and the forever loop will make whatever code inside it runs forever which means that when we add the point towards and the move blocks inside the forever loop so if we will put these two blocks in forever loop it will run forever so that's why we are placing in these two codes in a forever loop or forever uh, forever block so let's test it you can see here so it will move every time when the mouse cursor will move so you can uh, front flip and back back flip also okay so that's right now we can stop it now that's our uh, it's for our shark code we are going to move on to coding fish so we need to click the fish sprite down in the sprite pan here so when we click here we can see the face picture at the top right corner so in this area you can scripting the codes for the fish we are going to code the fish sprite to hide when it's touched by the shark sprite this will make it look like our prey has been eaten let's start with the when green flag clicked yellow even block so we will choose the first when clicked so green flag is here now in a nice scripting area next we need to go to the looks group in our control box so we can choose the control box and these dark purple blocks will control how your sprite will look so scroll down un until you find the show block 
so you can find here so now we want to use this block to make sure the fish is visible first before the shark eat, eats it okay so it will show now we are going to add a forever loop so remember where is the forever loop yes it is in control so this will ensure that the code we add inside will keep looping forever so remember that where is the forever loop so whatever we put inside here is going to continuously run so th that is called the forever loop our next piece of code is condition is a condition statements in a programming a condition a conditional is something that must be true in order to happen so we are going to grab the if then block from the control groups and move it inside the forever loop that's why it will run continuously this block means that if one certain things happen then something else will happen also so that's why we are putting inside the for loop we want our fish to hide as if it it's been eaten only if the fish touch the shark so we need to add a sensing block into this space so uh, to check whether the fish is touching the shark or not uh, we can uh, go to the sensing group which is the light blue menu in your toolbox so we can search uh, the light toolbox here and drag the touching mouse pointer block right in between if and then so we can put these blocks of your conditional statement here so now you will see the white outline appear around the hexagon hexagon shape when it is appeared so you can put the here click the drop down menu and change it to the shark sprite so you can select the name of the shark so here's the shark 2 so now our conditional if then statement is there so if touching shark 2 then says if the fish is touching the shark then something else is going to happen so this is the actual condition and and that something else whatever we put in this space right here so what will happen if touching so that's something else going to be hide block from the looks group which is in the which is in this dark side so scroll down and find the hide block so first it will hide so we we, we can uh, add the hide block at the down and put it right side in then uh, the if then statement now we have made it so that if the fish touch the shark then it will hide great yes so let's test our program and see if it works or not so you can see here shark moves and when towards the fish shark will hide so great it is working now now we can stop now the last thing we need to do is add more prey for the predator to hunt and eat we can do this by right clicking on the fish in the sprite pan and click on the right here and pressing duplicate options duplicate button so we can make the duplicates of uh, same thing continuously so we can, we can click the right click right and press duplicate each so we can do this a couple of times so that we have a lot of fish for your predator shark to hunt and to eat so now we can do it more duplicate duplicate fishes are there so i will add a couple of fish to fill up my screen for my game so we can make more duplicates items more duplicate fit uh, fishes so i will create the more duplicated fish now spread your fish around your stage so that they are not all on the top of each other so what we will do we can um, move the separate part of the screen so here i will drag it and drop it in the different part of the screen means all around the screen and now your games complete you can press the button in the corner to make your screen <clears throat> longer and when you are ready to play and test out your program 
you can just click on the green flag and then your program will run your game will run so now you can see your shark will eat the fish one by one move the towards uh, when you mouse pointer mouse pointer is there and uh, that's uh, your game so you can make a uh, different type of games in uh, in scratch so now you can save your game so go to file menu and then click on the file menu and then save to your computer so for future use you can also save your program or save your game so now you can make the more games in scratch so you can make and more games and next video we will make another game for you so till then goodbye